I've not seen a wilderness like this before. There'll be some dark days. Here we go. All right. Hello, YouTube. Do all the YouTube things. I'm not saying it again. Step one is to make a uh, ranger. Because we're going to level with Spark from level 1 to 28. So you're going to make a ranger and you're going to go all the way to title. Kill Hilric. If you don't want to level with Spark, and if you want to stick with the normal way, is um, you can do Swarm Blast Mine, uh, and Orb of Storms, and Frost Bomb, which you would then mule a Scion instead, and then just get Onslaught from it, and then make your Witch. I think most people like leveling with Spark better, so that's why I'm doing Spark. ID rare boots, movement speed, huge. Fine work with Hill. Stay sharp. Check for wands. Uh, green, green, blue. That's what those are, those are the colors you're gonna want from your wand. Is green, green, blue, or it doesn't have to be on your wand, but you're gonna want that somewhere. Everybody laugh at the people on YouTube who can't hear the music. Clicking these, uh, clicking these little things. Things with dead people on them are good. They usually have pretty decent drops. You can use Spark till 28, or you can take Spark all the way to maps. It's really your preference if you'd want to go Armageddon, Brand, Cremation, or Spark. They're both good. I'm gonna, okay, so I yesterday when I was leveling, what I was doing is I was answering the same three questions over and over, over and over again about every two minutes. So I'm not gonna do that today because it's gonna go on YouTube. And I'm sure people on YouTube don't want to hear the same thing over and 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 over, and over again. Sucks for you if you have the same question that someone had about 15 seconds ago. My mana is gone. Pick up all the stuff. Make sure you don't completely log out on League Starter, you'll be stuck in a queue. Greeting. Don't vendor that. Try and vendor some stuff as ID and some Be stuff sure. unID'd so you can get a good balance of transmutes versus um versus uh alt orbs because you will need both. Alright, time for the witch. <coughs> The dead will soon rise for me, not against me. Mewling the ranger to title is nice too, compared to doing to Scion to Hillock because it gives you some extra gear. No, no, zero death run. Zero deaths. Search, query, query, key. how do you say that? Three links of movement speed. You type NN for movement speed. I don't know what you'd type for three link. I should probably figure out the three link one. It's kind of helpful. 
I thought I'd be a dead woman by now. I sign as Buy a spark, stick your sports in, vendor everything else that you don't need. While we live, we are blessed. Fine work. Uh, check if there's anything here that's useful. Uh, not really. Maybe these gloves. Yeah, it's nice well. to have some extra sockets. I know that stench. Just like my sisters upon the pyre. Uh, I mean, you can. So you can equip a chest right away if you want to, like, be more safe. That's really. Not equipping a chest really only makes a difference if you're, like, speedrunning. On normal league starts, I'll usually equip a chest as soon as I can get a rare one. That's okay. Because that extra 3% speed's, like, actually whatever. It's only only matters if you're doing like meme race stuff. Which since I leagues are hardcore, I'll just put on the chest because it's not really a huge difference. Yeah, armor has a hidden minus three movement speed modifier on it, which isn't really noticeable, but. If you're trying to go as fast as possible, you don't equip a chest. Careful with the rowers, they're pretty dangerous. A tip if you're having trouble finding all of the uh, eggs in a Good time manner, the uh the rivers will point to where they're going, like see. It's a little little path here. You can follow that to the other ones. Back the title for your second Quicksilver. I think I'd rather these gloves. Clicking these things is kind of good for some extra gear. I don't know if I said that this run or last run. It's kind of blurring together. Where is he? What the heck? Oh, that's weird. So it's Spark, you think you want to be right in their face, but if you stand back a little bit, you'll actually do more damage and hit more projectiles. Too much clutter. I don't know. Doesn't matter what, um... Doesn't matter what... Gem you take there, you're not gonna use any of them anyways. You're gonna wanna check Nesta for magic wands because Be well. then you don't have to transmute one, grab orb of storms and frost flink. So when you do your wand craft, the your wands need to be magic, so make sure you're checking Nessa for blue wands so you don't have to waste the transmute orb. When I'm ready and not before. Is Spark greater than mine now? Uh, they're about the same, but smart. Spark feels a lot smoother, and most people would probably prefer it, and it's easier to do. Or easier play style wise. This ray class will serve. 
at the bridge, put your portal down, because we're going to come back later and do uh, the dweller. If you see any blue packs, make sure you kill them for the XP. If, if they're like insanely tanky though and it's taking you forever to kill them, I wouldn't bother. So something I should have done was vendor three of my small life blasts for a medium life blast, but I forgot to, but life blasts are huge for survivability early, making sure you have a up-to-date one. You know, I might go back and do it just to simulate a, what I'd do in a real league yes. start here. Be well. There you go. As soon as real league start, I would go back and do it. I wasn't gonna, but I'll do it. Uh, so by the time you're level 20, you should try and have two essences. I'm not going to kill that one because I don't really like the spell it's in, but... Uh, by the time you're level 20, you should have two essences to use on a ring, because then you can upgrade your wand craft. I'm starting what I'm leveling right now. Tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you could also just find a bunch of rare rings, that'd work. If you find two rare rings, you don't need to kill any essences. Rare rings early on are pretty rare, though, so... They're quite rare. And skirt around the goats, because you'll get one shot if you don't. Kind of tough to do that, so. I'd rather burn than call such. Try and make sure you have a quick silver up when you do that. All right, when you hit the lower prison, you'll go back to town, back to your portal, go kill the dweller. Detonate dead? You'd be a detonate dead fan. Gator. It's an OG build. This, uh... Playlist that's kind of weird. Oh, something with essences is um certain mob types. If you see it's an essence, you shouldn't even open it. Like that one was a squid. Squids are probably the perfect mob type to kill an essence, but. If it's like a bear in Act 2 or one of the giant rock golems, don't even bother, it'll take you forever. Added lightning, thunder all that, so you're gonna transmute. Stay sharp out there. From now on I'm gonna vendor everything identified. I should have ID'd those actually to get a alt orb, but I messed up, but we can always pull back. If 
You're gonna want to try and have at least one one craft done by Brutus. Just it'll make a lot smoother. My leaf is the strongest metal of them all. Which it's looking like I probably won't have my wand craft done, but that's okay. Still doing enough damage. Maybe these guys will drop me a million rares. Oh, they'll drop me nothing. Transmute? No, I need all. There's another blue, blue. Green. All right, looks like I'm doing it with Ignorance no. Here, sister. To the one place where you're... Um, no one craft. Brutus will always be on the side of the uh, walls where the book is on your minimap. So you can see, even with no wand crafts, still do quite a bit of damage. Prima del all would like to reset the zone. No, you. Thanks for the oh, a rare sapphire ring. I win. Thanks for the bits pre-made. For some. Mhm. All right. Well. Save that for later. You am gonna ID these now. Ooh, those are good boots. Let's fuck these boots. ID everything so you get some alt shards. There we go. Now you can take your magic wand, and uh, you're gonna need to get a regular sapphire ring. Vendor that all together. Ring an alt and the wand. There you go. Now it has flat cold spells. That's like the best. Leveling mod you can get early on. Make sure you're picking up any armor scraps and uh, wet stones you find. Um, actually, I should have grabbed my movement skill, but I forgot. So let me do that. Grab flame dash there. Very good. Good end game gear. Uh, I mean, if you look at the PUB on my guide video, it's uh, that has full end game gear. Goes up to all the way up to really GG stuff, which is way overkill for that build. And so you'd probably be better off using it on a different build. But if you want to do that build, then all the way. Um, it has the gear. Pure sport, you mule a ranger. When I upload it to YouTube, you can see what I did. Fake smiles with sharp teeth. The sirens appear to be dining well. When I'm ready and not before. Try and always be killing mobs to keep your uh, quicksilver up and your onslaught up. Ooh, another blue wand that'll save the transmute. Well, 
Since I'm here, can go tag the waypoint here. Then go back. Gotta find the ship. There it is. Any reason for Spork over Stormbox Mine? I don't know, it just feels better. I think most people prefer it. I've never, I've never seen a new player try and level with Stormblast Mine, but I'm guessing it doesn't look pretty because, you know, I'm not saying anything in this game is really, like, high, highly skilled to do it, but it's pretty easy to mess up your Stormblast Mine. Okay, there we can log out. Go, uh... Go back to Fairgraves. Friends? Please understand that as a gentleman of honor, it pains me greatly to do this. Hard yes. Times call for the uh, spark leveling is a lot, a lot more laid back too. I mean, just spark. Now that being said, later on, spark leveling can get pretty crazy if you're really like. You're really pushing it, like I was doing in my a few days ago, but really not necessary. <laughs> what I was doing a few days ago. If you must take your time, you're not gonna use any of those skill gems there. It doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah. There you can ID everything for uh, alt orbs. I accidentally fendered that wand I wanted, but, uh, you know. So I'm gonna have to use a transmute on this wand and buy another ring, which... that. Buy another ring. Ring. Althorb and, uh, the wand. There you go. No, it's got, uh, one craft on it. If you pick up a stack of items, if you saw how I just split the alt orbs really easily, if you pick up the stack of items and then you hold shift and uh, click, it'll put one down. Oh yeah, maybe I'll grab flame all this time. When I'm ready and not before. Why cold the spells? I mean, you don't have to do cold the spells, but it gives you a little bit more defense early, and it really doesn't matter which one you. Uh, choose at this point because you're gonna blow up everything anyways but usually I just take um cold early because the vendor has them and you don't have to do any iron ring shenanigans this is take two right, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab flame wall It'll buff your damage a little bit more. Goodbye. Uh, not really necessary, but... Yeah, you're dealing lightning damage, but it still adds the cold damage to your spells. You don't need to do all lightning damage with the lightning damage spell. Hence why I'm grabbing Flame Wall. What's the point of playing hardcore if you just log out whenever it's risky? What's the point of playing softcore if you just use six portals every map? I'm playing meta builds and caring about the meta. Let's 
Trick for my finding Mervale? Uh, you just follow the bridges. Follow the water slash bridges. A hardcore is about being super careful and building around the fact that death is permanent, lo not looking out. Uh, well, let me give you a hint here. You can always tell someone's a noob who's never actually played hardcore when they talk about stuff like this because if you look at the top hardcore players, uh, don't really log out. Only in very specific scenarios to log out. I... Ooh, that's a good helmet. Travel far. TD is fine for logbook farming. I mean, I don't think that really takes a specific goal. You can do it with anything. Alright, so here uh, we can skip the den in this area because we already have two Quicksilvers, but if you want to do it for like one of the rare rewards you can if you want, but I just skip it. Just follow the road. It'll bring you to the crossroads and here you follow the road again. Invasion League was my first league. It didn't go very well. That league hurt. You swap your wands at level 20 when you can get the better craft, which I'll explain in 7 levels. I need to find another essence. Oh, I don't actually. Wait, did I vendor that ring? No, I think I'm wearing it. Yeah, cool. I need to remember I'm wearing that ring. Is the modern DD better than the first one with Spellslinger? Um, I don't know. It's been a really long time. Hard to say? Probably. Probably. That build was really good, though. I don't know. That build was really good. Hard to say, because I think people were also... I think... People have gotten a lot better since then, so and the game's a bit different. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. When I'm ready and not before. Consideration and hesitation. The former is wisdom. The latter. Yeah, only applies to Vol DD when you crit with Vol D, not with normal DD. I'm gonna grab a ruby ring here. That ruby ring, because our one crafts at level 20 will be with ruby rings and not the uh, not the cold rings. Let's stick that over here so I don't vendor it. Thanks for the gifts of Dauphin. That thing, it slaughtered everyone. Help me. Swap the DD at maps. Okay, talk to Bruce to get your uh, Herald of Thunder from him, then you can talk to Ina, get your, um, I only have one alt while I'm gonna sell and get another one. Um, get, we have a Conviction and Skitterbots, and that is what you need from that. I'm gonna sell this Transmute, and, uh, so I have more Wizzy Scrolls. If you can. 
to the riverways. Ready, this Get Einhard to run with you. It's a little bit of free extra clear. Generally, you're going to want to open any strong boxes you see. Though, if they're if they're magic or rare, you want to throw an ID scroll on them just to make sure they're not going to freeze you and kill you. You go level 16. You can equip the auras now. Throw them in my boots. Uh, to be able to use Wave of Conviction, you're going to need to have Strength somewhere, either in your amulet or your belt, both of which I forgot to grab, but you should grab one of those at some point. So a good way to know where Alira is, is whatever side of the road the Wave Point's on, that's the side she'll be on, so you just run down that way. Heavy belt, there you go. Streamer RNG. You have a Kill Lyra. If it's your first time like leveling in hardcore or something and you wanna go really safe, you can um you can you kill her. For, I mean you can help her with some extra res and you can Never swap it later, but to your head. uh oops. I generally find it not worth the respect points. You only mule on Ranger for this leveling setup. Better mana flask. And then on the other side of the map will be uh will be the weaver. I typically like to check left first in the zone because I feel like every time I go to the right it's a dead end, but it can be either way and I don't really know to tell the difference, but Whenever I go just straight to the right, I always end up getting stuck, so I recommend checking left first. And not before. See, there it is. Alright, make sure you turn your auras on before Weaver. And don't forget, like I almost just did. If you have your wand crafts and the auras, it should pre-die. Uh, pretty quickly. Did you win your McDonald's lawsuit, Gator? How'd that go? Too much clutter. Um. Yeah, this is getting uploaded to YouTube. Goodbye. You and Bet. Talk to Silk and grab. What would you use? Probably Elemental Focus for later when you're swapping cremation. Um, I'm gonna get rid of. Something maybe, maybe not, I guess. I'd like to, oh, I'm gonna try, oh, let me get rid of that. I'm gonna use this jeweler on the helmet, try and get a blue, I got a blue. Okay, cool. Just to uh, get Wave of Conviction going. Uh, I'm gonna go to Crossroads now, we're gonna go do the lab trial.
Yeah, pretty good RNG this run. I need to find another essence soon. I'm gonna essence the rings to do it now. Three more levels to a new wand craft. I recommend tagging all the waypoints early. I mean, if you're not like, if you're not into speedrunning, you probably do that anyways, but tagging them is a good idea for a uh, league start just in case the server DCs or anything. Jade Amulet, that's not bad. You're in one either a Strength or a Jade Amulet. Either one works. Ain't nothing else to do there. You can log out and log back in. Uh, you can go back to Act 1 now. It's a good time to do that. And go talk to Bestel for your way forward Cost skill point. Back to Act 2. Make sure you go actually in the town and don't just teleport to whatever where you want to go because uh, if you log out and then log back in, it'll put you back in act one and that's kind of annoying. The benefit of two same skills on two different vines, there is no benefit. It just automatically puts on somewhere and then I put it somewhere different. When I'm ready, and not before. I mean, you can keep, you can level all the way with Spark if you want to, or you can swap the armor with Gendon Man cremation. Either way works. Just whatever you prefer. Really, it comes down to at the end of the day, if you don't want to get burned out, but most people are too dumb to do it, is really just do what you prefer. Good. And don't worry about the really little things. That's how you get burned out, but most people do worry about the little things for some reason. And then, like, end up kind of not liking the game. What? What? Those are juicy boots. Going? Well, it is really fast, that's why it's gonna be on YouTube, so you can, uh, you know, watch at your own pace. has no time for avaricious little despots like you, Oak. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way to Act 10. And then once you kill all bandits, you can come back here and talk to him, get your two skill points. If you're witch of trouble. I really want this to be too blue. But I think I'm only gonna get one, one out of it. So I'll just save Boy. those for a while. <laughs> Um, dang. Hello? Here you're gonna want to get a ru another ruby. Alright, this one's blue. I don't have another essence at this point, so it'll be fine if it's not rare. It's whatever, it's blue. So, be well. need to sell some more stuff for two more alts, but getting ready to do the next wand craft.
You go rubies because at level 28 you swap to Arbor Brand Cremation here and start taking fire nodes. No, I can also throw the rubies on because this zone does like giga giga fire damage. So you can grab the two rubies and throw them on in this zone so you don't get like gibbed by these guys because they do huge fire damage. Probably the scariest fire damage throughout leveling. On non bosses, anyways. So in this zone, the way you can go through it is the way it, the layout kind of makes like an N a lot of the time. Like it kind of, see it's kind of like an N. When I'm ready and not before. Although there's some weird ones too. It's kind of hard to give like good layout tips because there's some different stuff and it would be way too long to explain each one. The fairy land learns to heed my Usually the layout there is like in an end shape though, so All temple entrance and exit are parallel? I have no idea. Most of my la net layout knowledge is through muscle memory and I don't actually know specific tells. My brain just connects it. So. Kind of hard for me to explain it because of that too. My brain doesn't actually know what it is specifically. I just kind of see the pattern. You're gonna want to get uh, lightning damage and non-critical strikes is lucky mastery there. That's a really, really good OP mastery, especially for leveling. I mean, it's just really good in general if you're playing any lightning builds. It'll be respec later though, since this is a fire build. But for the next eight levels, it is giga juice. Hoping I can get a few more rares here to uh, finish another alt orb. That recipe is a movement speed recipe. If you don't have movement speed on your boots by this point, you've probably gotten three augment orbs that you've picked up. And then you can craft it on your boots if it has an open prefix. Which if you're just wearing regular non-magic or rare boots, you can just craft it on for free. Carl device instead of skitterbots be better? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you, it doesn't matter. You're gonna blow up enemies anyways. That's a good thing about this leveling uh, build. You got, uh, you got some pretty good freedom here in doing what you want to do. Like, uh, it's pretty much impossible. If you, if you make sure you do your wand crafts, you're, uh, you're good to go. Pretty much. Okay, let's see. The doors do appear to be on the opposite side of the room. That does seem to be true. All right, here, gonna portal back. Gonna hope I got a second alt orb here, maybe. Is that enough? That might be enough. No, it's not enough. I need four more. Actually, wait, I can just get rid of these boots. I kind of like those boots, but I'm gonna get rid of them. 
There you go. Grab your uh, ruby rings and you can recraft your wands now. And you can go back in. He's gonna go down right away. Drop your flame mall, drop your uh, orb of storms, drop your wave of conviction for maximum damage. Ice Crash Saboteur, yeah, that's a great build. go grab the rare items then you can either log out or portal because that door in that room takes an insanely long time to open for some reason but if you uh pity. if you log out I think we could have been friends that is the craziest jewel i've ever gotten while leveling Travel far. uh and then you can just portal act three that was crazy dude what was that that was like an endgame jewel was like a actually good lightning skill jewel. Any recommendations while playing Flame Blast Elementalist? My first recommendation is don't. That's like one of ten skills I would never recommend someone to play. Why? It's bad. Flame Bast is a relic of the past that's been left behind. That has not received any love in the last ten years. When I'm ready and not before. What are the other nine? Um I don't know, mostly channeling skills. Good rule of thumb is stay away from channeling skills if you don't want to get baited into a bad league starter. Generally, stay away from those. When you build something like this, you make persecution a way of life. Psych okay, Cyclone doesn't count because you can move while channeling. Cyclone doesn't count. Cyclone's fine. <laughs> Brands? Uh, Armageddon brand is okay. I probably wouldn't start any other ones. I mean, I'm sure you could, but... I'm a Grand and Brand will be the smoothest. I mean, DD doesn't have low damage, but it's more defense oriented, so. Really only go it if you're looking for a tanky build. If you wanna play a really tanky build on software, feel free. The, uh, the trial here and Piety are usually always right next to each other. Let's see if Rayclast has been good Trying to find to it quickly. Enough of this. Clarissa, talk to Maramoa, grab flammability. Run back to the slums. You'll see where you need to go. There'll be a 
exclamation point on the map for the sewer gate. What exactly is mapping? Aren't the maps same between runs? Mapping is the end game system. There's like a hundred different maps. They cycle between different layouts uh, every league, and you can roll them to uh, be more or less dangerous and the reward scale with the danger, essentially. It's like the, well, you'll be doing like 90% of the time on mapping. All right, so here in the sewers, you'll be looking for the stashes or the bus. When you get to the second bus, depending on the size of the room, that was a small room, so the uh, third bus will be down and not before. somewhere. If it was a big room, it would be up. What's normal percent of health slash ES? Um, I mean, I don't know ES. ES builds are kind of less common these days. Usually for hardcore builds, it's like 180 to 200%. Softcore is probably substantially lower. Basically, on your on builds, you want like there's a few ways, few common defenses these days. Most common is going uh getting grace and determination aura, and then using ghost shrouds on the tree, which is in the top right. That's really solid and is pretty much all the defense you'll need. And is Easily workable in 10 build. So, uh, starting to take the fire, some fire damage nodes. Did I take the stairs down? I don't know, here it is. Since you have both fire damage wall and crafts, you'll start to scale that a bit and soon we'll swap to Armageddon cremation leveling. Talk to Hargan for uh, that. Oh, didn't mean to have a chest piece on, that's fine. Uh, I can throw this on. Act 3 is a pretty good spot to uh, start using a chest piece. You can get one with pretty good. Mods is life and res. I mean, you can pull it on before too, but. Running labs now versus later at more movement speed. I mean, if you're gonna run a million labs, you should probably be running a pretty fast character. You can level with Spark all the way to maps. You can do Armageddon Brand Cremation or Spark. Either way works. It's just preference. When I'm ready and not before. Whatever place value like more. DD is detonate dead. Hey, thanks for the uh, raid, Poox. If any new players are looking for a uh, for a righteous fire guide or anything about righteous fire, he probably knows more about righteous fire than I do about the whole game. 
You need righteous fire info? Use your guy. You're under leveled at this point, you can uh, farm docks for a bit. I think level 25 is a good spot to be. If you're like, if you're below 25, I'd farm docks until you're level 25. You can go higher if you want to, it's really up to you. I'm comfortable at 25 though. I'd love to see the insides of this spell. I can't buy. How strict is my filter? Uh, I mean, my filter is extremely scuffed, and it's not really strict at all ever. I pretty much never use a really strict filter. <laughs> I just live with the scuffed filter for like the entire league because I'm lazy. I didn't know that was command either. Yeah, you still take orc losses, which just so happens to be in this zone, but. When I'm ready and not before. Go talk to Diala. Uh, I'm gonna grab a Jade amulet here. Swap that out. Back to the sewers. We're gonna kill Gravicious in order to unlock cremation armor brand, which we'll switch to in two levels. Uh, I'd be kind of careful here with this dude. He uh, does giga damage. Just kind of stay far away and kite him with your sparks. If you're not comfortable with the fight. Place is at God's side. I am, so I'll get in his face, but. Item and keep him out of distance with spark. No random. I would never randomly rip, okay? I would never do that. Oh, well, there is a second essence if you wanted it, but I'm gonna take it just to throw it on my belt. All right, not bad, not bad.
My R skill is flame wall. How many crumbs I have? Three? It's respectable. You either master nightmare or it masters you. So usually I'll try to get to cremation before piety. Try and hit level 28 before then, but uh, if you don't, it's fine. You can spark still. In this layout, you're just gonna like, you're basically just gonna walk around the edges until you find when I'm ready, I'm a uh, set of stairs, which I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. And then when you find that, you just walk up it. Basically, you just go far out as you can. There it is. And then when you see those cards right there, you see there's two on one side, one on the other side. You always go the way with one. Was well, there a falling chest? I didn't see it. I'm blind. Alright, oh, I'm perfect leveling. I'm just gonna hit 28, just in time to swap here. Excellent. You know what, I'll just kill her with Spark. No reason to leave and go out. Just to show you that you can still kill her with Spark. Just fine. Grab the tower key. I loved your work, Piety. It was you. See you. Talk to this Good guy, time. grab your book. Alright, here. Then talk to Maramo and get your Gravicious reward, grab cremation. Yes. And then you're gonna grab Armageddon brand as well, so now here are the links you're gonna look for. Bye. Oh, uh, now we're gonna go back to Act Two. Talk to Yina. I am. Uh, we're gonna grab Conk Effect for cremation, and we're gonna grab Desecrate. Also for cremation. Herald of Ash, also for. That's for clearing. We'll still give you more cremation damage though. Uh, that's it here. Now we're going back to Act 1. And I'm gonna grab mm -hmm. Combustion. That's for uh, Armageddon Brand. So then link your Armageddon Brand in your blue, blue, green with combustion and onslaught. You can throw away your spark now and your peers. Um, put your cremation in the green, and then uh, I don't have another transmute orb, but ideally I would, and it would go here with LMP, but I uh, messed up, so pretend I have that. Well. I'll link with a conk effect for now. You can get rid of flame wall and replace it with Farewell. your curse. 
Um, yeah. When do we go for Arma Karima? How are you asking that as I explain it to you right now? How do you, how do you, you're trolling me. Here we go, you can um, start to respec some stuff. Well, put a point in this fire, in Firewalker and there. I'm gonna clean out my stash a bit. Just to uh, make sure. Here we go. Put that. Uh, make sure all your links are in order. There you go. Go to the barracks. Put Armageddon brand on left click and you can just brand the enemies and run. And they will die. Third and run. When I'm ready and not before. Uh, if you want, if you're feeling squished on mana, you can turn off your Herald of Thunder. Give yourself a little more more room. Tag the waypoint there. At this point, uh, you can do library if you like to do library. I don't, so I'm not going to. Tag that. You can either log out and run back to the portal, or you can uh, run there yourself. Then you'll just run the other way to uh, get to the tower. Remember, Dominus, what goes up must come down. I think I'm gonna take Herald of Thunder off here. So hopefully I get a few rare items before I actually get to the boss slash blue items so I can get another transmute. Three lane. Oh, perfect. Gonna run back to Act One and get a LMP. Streamer RNG. Here we go. Waypoint. Perfect timing. Back to Act One. I'm gonna get. Yes. LMP here and they go with oh, cremation. Wow. Back we go. No, I don't have a specific loot filter. Generally any caster oops. It uses the same colors pretty much as any caster, so and you kind of have flexibility with your links too. If you don't have green green blue, but you have a blue, blue, green, you can do that too, and just not use LMP. And instead of using LMP, you can use like elemental focus or something. This gator needed its time out in the corner. At least for the YouTube video. Don't get me demonetized. When I'm ready and not before. You don't think YouTube can read the text on screen, can it? No chance.
This build is about 10 times easier to get off the ground than Skelly Mages. Here we go, at the boss. I like the, uh, I think the fire guy is the most scary, so I'd target him first. Drop your desecrate, cremation, uh, curse, drop your way to conviction, make sure you're doing all that, drop it on the brand. Basically, just use all your abilities that you have at this point. Every time you cremation, you're gonna have to desecrate, you can see it does giga damage. Have you ever seen the true face of God exile? And then on this guy, uh, once you got everything up, you've waved conviction, you've cursed, you got your cremations going off, and it's just spam wave of conviction on him for some extra damage. This world is an illusion, exile. I find that picking up citrine amulets while leveling isn't very good. Usually it'll leave you with some kind of deficit, like watch. JK lol, but it could sometimes. Plus, it's normal. If it was rare, I'd pick it up for sure, but... You can just kind of run around him, let cremation do its thing. I need more mana. No one will cry for you, Dominus. Ready, Exxon! This Grab Einhar. That water just reeks of corruption. Now we can just cruise and throw Arma Brand on. And, uh... Go. I no longer if there's harder I packs that are like if they're like rare or something, and you don't want to wait for the Arma Brands to kill them, you can just drop a wave of conviction on them. Though if you do drop like three Arma Brands, it should be enough. We'll do lab at crystal veins. When I'm ready and not before. See, I'm a brand will clear it, but it'll be a little bit faster if you just, you know, drop your wave of conviction on it if you're ever having trouble with the pack. I'm gonna throw out my Herald of Thunder just to uh, make a little bit more room here. Run to Dried Lake. Yes. Yeah, it might be uh, it might be easier for you to transition to DD if you do this over Spark, but transitioning to DD at first can be a little weird and scuffed. If you're under leveled at this point and you want to grab a few more, uh, Dried Lake's a good place to farm levels, so is Aquadox. There's actually quite a few good places in Act 4 to catch up. It's a matter where you pick up the specter. Yeah, you can. I just go to Act Three and, um, you know, I guess you could grab it in like Act Eight as well. I'm gonna grab, recover two percent life, and you ignite a non-ignited enemy because it gives you a little bit of extra survivability. Actually determines when to swap the DD. You do I, okay for me. I just always swap at right at maps. Usually, what I'd recommend for most people is to try and farm ball DD and like a. Make sure you always are grabbing 
sulfite nodes, even though they're useless at this point, because they drop a uh, drop a div card, which will give you ten alts. Uh, this one, society's remorse. But uh, basically, I always right right when I get the maps, I just swap the DD. Anyways, um, just my preference. But you can save cremation for a while, probably into like yellows. But um, I think it likes me. What you usually do is you can wait until Vol DD. So you get Vol DD, and that will like, give you a huge damage boost, and you get that by doing Vol side areas, or you know, obviously Vol warping your DD. Make sure your DD is level 1, though. Man, this is a terrible spot for this. I'm gonna do it anyways. It's good essence. Is that a four lane? So another thing that's good about uh, cremation leveling is your uh, your socket colors you can use is very flexible. Although unfortunate that this is boots, I'm actually not going to end up using that. No spark question mark? What did you just put on your glasses? Yeah, Don't this isn't spark, you're right. It'll all be over soon. You are correct. Uh, you keep your DD level 1 because your damage won't actually go up. Sounds counterintuitive, but with the way DD works is, uh... Your damage, uh, doesn't actually increase when you level up the gem. All it will do is make you cost more mana when you cast it, which will cause issues. Alright. Here, at this point, uh, you go back to Act 3 to do lab. I'm gonna talk to Clarissa what here. And uh, you should grab Ray's Spectre, which is a Chancellor, which I don't have, but if you have a Chancellor, you should grab it right then. You don't need to grab it then. You just need to grab it probably by like Act 7, because it will level in the store on its own, but at a certain point, um, it'll be more beneficial to have it in your, in an offhand leveling it. Wait, you don't need to do that anymore. Never mind. Well, that's old DD. Never mind. You don't need to do that. Content am I gonna block? I don't know, probably like everything except for harvest. <laughs> Only one of your lessons was completed in ascendant. So in lab, if you're like feeling lost, pretty much like 90% of the time, if you go up and to the right, it's gonna be the right way. When the time comes to strike, Harvest League three, yeah, basically. Basically.
what leagues are do I recommend to do highest content? Oh gosh. I don't know. Probably something with no damage but is kind of fast and kind of tankier. So probably like Champ or Gladiator Corrupting Fever or something. When I'm ready and not before. Delve starter, I don't know, Delve's kind of lackluster again at this point, I wouldn't recommend doing Delve. But I mean, it depends what you want to do in Delve, there's like three different ways to Delve anyways, so... You have to be more specific. I mean, the, the League, when they first reworked the Delve rewards, it was really good again, but now with the Atlas tree, it's not so good once again, now that map rewards are kind of crazy. What's better, Fire, Cyclone, or Toxic Rain? If you mean, you mean like, Mathel's Chieftain Cyclone thing? Uh, I mean, probably Toxic Rain. But maybe... Maybe the fire cyclone for soft core. Too much clutter. Before your emperor, you are worthy. Before the goddess of justice, you are worthy. Receive our blessings. Embrace our gifts. Embrace and rise. Grab Plaguebringer first. Ignore anybody who whispers you in game. Yes. Preemptively type slash D and D because you know that's gonna bring in an onslaught of dumbasses trying to be funny. I'm gonna keep that actually. Be careful. Hmm. I need new gloves. I'm check for a pair of gloves here. The blue, blue. I always go to the wrong vendor here. Blue, blue gloves? Of course, nothing, never. Vendors never have what I want. What I play if I was doing softcore trade, Blade Blast Occultist. I mean, if I was doing anything other than HDSF for the race, I'd be playing Blade Blast Occultist. That'll, that will be my second build of the league. Ready, exile. It is time to Actually, I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go to Duresso. I like going Duresso first. Ready. When you need when you need XP, when you're a little bit behind, which I'm a little bit behind right now. I like doing Duresso first. He's he gets stuck in these stupid arenas, so might as well take the XP when it's more beneficial. Blade Mask Coldest, do I like to suffer? I mean. Why would that be suffering? When I'm ready and not before. I'm gonna get in Brandon Spark are pretty close. And it's really just your preference. And what you wanna do. There's a four link. That could be usable if I maybe get lucky with some crumbs. Cool 
any stinking flop. Welcome to the Grand Arena of the Usually I just ignore beasts while leveling, but if you want to be really safe and get like a bleed flask before uh Or the belly of the beast zone, which has a lot of bleed based monsters, you can do that and kill them and then do it, but I typically don't. So you. In this zone, in the arena, you're always going to want to go into uh, into the one that's on the left. Into the door that's on the left. However, there is an exception to that rule. Sometimes, I, I don't think it happened that time, but sometimes you uh, will go into the door that's closest to you. Not the one on the way to the left. Not very helpful because I didn't really show it there, but. I'm sorry to have to break this to you. What do you need now? I'm getting some good items. I'm watching you. There you go. Blue, blue, green, green. That is good for uh, DD. I mean, for cremation. Um, I'm gonna try and get a blue on these. There we go. I like to keep my main currency in my inventory just to uh, keep track of what I've got. If you're in hardcore, I wouldn't really recommend doing that, but chances are you're not. When I'm ready and not before. Imagine playing hardcore. I mean, I really, I really wouldn't recommend playing hardcore unless you like literally play the game for a living. To be honest, or you're a neat lord, one or the other. And you have good internet. I mean, good internet doesn't necessarily save you, but it saves you from most issues out of your control. I don't think DD is boring. I mean, it's boring to me now because I've played it for a year straight, but... I think it's one of the more fun builds that have been meta, to be honest. I like the hit-based version better with Herald of Ash, though. That version's fun, but it's way inferior to Stone with Man.
That's what you get for losing. What is it? Four refund points. When you have four refund points, I'd unspec these lightning nodes. When you log out, if you just spam enter, it will immediately log you back in. Just spam it as fast as you can. Spec into for damage? Oh, I just spec into spiritual aid. And then the wheel right below spiritual aid as well. I mean, in the, in the POB. On my guy video has leveling tree. Actually, I'll have a spark leveling tree. I don't even have this one. So, uh, leveling tree to be determined. I mean, if you haven't played DD before, it is pretty fun, honestly. Like, it's just that it's been meta for so long that people are sick of it. But I mean, this is assuming you like two button builds. Yeah. Well. In PUB, you can pretty much never rely on the uh, mana reserve number. It's pretty much always bugged on most builds, so not really much I can do there. It's not really reliable. Like, for example, when you use Divine Blessing Life Tap and Aura, it will reserve all your mana, even though you're not really using your mana. Things that are... POB problems are out of my control. Be happy for me, sister. It's not often we get to erase our failures. Oh. Did not mean to dash into that. A little note here, when you're going to Divine Judgment, uh, if you want to save some Regret Orbs, make sure you take the bottom node. It seems I've underestimated piety. Good. I like surprises. I'm gonna take this. I need a better... better mana potion. Yeah, that might have been a logout moment on a real hardcore. I need more mana. You will make such lovely material. Brutus, I'm glad I won't be seeing any more of your work. Uh, so in Doedry, if you want to be really safe, you just stay in the green circle for, uh, for Enfeeble, just makes you do less damage. Purple, in my opinion, is the most dangerous. Then red. 
purple will make you slow and it could mess could mess up your casting and then you could be stuck in an animation and then she just will delete you. Red if you get hit, you'll just get deleted as well. So really aim to just stick in blue. Another, another decent uh, four link here. I'm gonna stick my uh you no know what actually never mind. Wait. Um, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna use that over that one. Though I don't think I can actually get a red. A good red. Link. Do you get cruelty on this? Yes. I don't know. I hate to be critical, but no, I'm I just gonna use this. the other one. If you'd done library, you can use a red link. You'd use fire penetration. Go where you are needed. I'm gonna do this though. That gives me dax. Oh, never mind. I don't know why they made this arena a butthole. mana and you're out of blast charges so you just portal out and you get him again. Pro tip. How do you make sure your wave of conviction does minus fire res? Well the wands have two fire res crafts on them so that's how. What can I oh, do? Gloves are bad. I needed to get rid of some of these. Go Spend where you are two. Need. Poor man. I need to put a dex so note on my next level up. You. Now the two of you can get better acquainted. From Diala, you'll grab GMP for your um Still for your cremation. Uh, no, spark and cremation will have roughly the same amount of respects. Maybe a little bit more for spark, but um, it's just preference. Okay, I'm gonna put a dex note in so I can equip all this dex stuff. Here, I'm gonna put GMP in the chest. I'll do this in the next zone while the portal is loading. This could be bad. That's a fire res craft, fire damage craft. Farming veiled stuff is do still doing um still doing foothills, yes. Oh, I'm out of a red socket now, shoot. I'm lucky.
However, you don't need Herald of Ash, as you can see, I still clear just fine. So I could stick Herald of Thunder back on if I wanted to now, but... I don't have it on me. So in this zone, you always go down, and then it's up to the left. For this guy. Well, I pick up crafting recipes. Uh, I usually only pick up the ones I know what they are. Freedom comes to those. Freedom comes. If I don't know what it is, it's probably bad and not really worth me wasting my time on. Though, if you don't know where the good ones are, you should probably just click them all. Freedom come. Remember. Um, I'm gonna click this, this and hope freedom. I get a red one. Nope, I don't get a red one. I lose. How many more? I have three more. All right. Red socket. Good. Low-level items are good for getting uh, random colors. Like, if you need... If you need, like... So, typically, the colors will correspond to um, how much dex or int or strength it'll need. It'll, like, you know, dex, it'll be a green... More likely to roll a green socket. Int will be blue, strength, red, but... Uh, the less of attributes are required, the less likely it'll be to roll them. So on early items, for example, this wand, which you get really early, it's pretty equally likely to roll each type. So that's why I chose that one for a red socket and not um, one of my other base types. Because the rest are more high level stuff. Lay maps, do you still use wave for clear? No. It's just for boss game. In lay maps, you'll just have your wave on a trigger setup in your scepter. When I'm ready and not before. Yeah, it'll be a pretty big hit when they nerf or Colossus, but they said they're not going to, so... That being said, even when they do it, it's still playable builds. In this zone, the layout's always the same, you just always go, like, straight up into the right. Um, so your, uh, your weapons, once you do the level 20 craft, you're good until you get to maps. You can just ID any, like, rare weapons you find, and if they're good, you can swap them. But eventually in maps, when you, when you swap, when you actually swap the DD, hopefully you'll find a Essence of Fear. Or something with fire damage on it. And, uh, use the Essence of Fear on a Scepter, and that'll be your weapon for a while. I'm clearing with Armageddon brand. Like worst case scenario would be like you uh you buy like an opal scepter from a vendor at Act Ten, and then you um, grab a granite flask there, Unlocked. and then you would like oh, wow. craft would fire damage. On. That's like your your worst case scenario. Here you're gonna take the plus resistance mastery. Yeah, you're gonna make sure when when you do swap the DDM maps, make sure you uh 
are using a scepter and not a wand because a scepter will not benefit you at all. I mean, a wand will not benefit you at all. You need elemental damage, not spell damage. Spell damage doesn't benefit DD at all. I think leveling Sabo with Poison Helix, the build leveling build I did the other day, is like on par with this. I don't know about filters. I think they released all the filter info. So if you want to like, if you are someone who does your filter yourself, which you're probably not, uh, you could do it right now. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for Never Sync to update his site. Which I don't know if it is. It might be. There wasn't many changes, so. I personally would definitely play Seismic for software. Here's another good zone to farm if you're behind XP at all. If you're like, if you're like level uh, 39 or below, I'd farm up to 40 here, maybe. 39's fine too, really just get to at least 39. Would I ever switch to a controller on PC? No, why would I do that? I mean, yeah, you can, but... Thanks for the raid, Gazzy. The world must be cleansed of impurity. Are you starting that I need more mana. wolf build? Rise, Oops. I am. I mean, the, okay, so honestly, the controller is pretty good in this game. You wouldn't think so, but it's pretty good. The main problem with controller that I noticed is navigating the menus suck really bad on it, but I'm sure once you are used to it, it's fine, but playing the game itself, it's actually pretty, pretty good. It's not even hard to get used to playing the game with it, like I found it very good. I am order. I am the new and the eternal. Uh, okay, well I was leveling when I was using controller. Looting was kind of an issue then, but I imagine when you're in maps, it's like Loot filter set up would be fine. If you have a bad filter though, it's probably pain. It's also dependent on what build you're playing. There's probably some things that I would not want to play on a controller. <laughs> Anything that requires semi like like some sort of precision. Like playing bleed bow sounds terrible, probably. I don't know. I mean, it probably auto locks, but I don't know. Twenty movement speed boots. Ooh. What in damnation have you done? So in this zone, there's like little holes in the wall, and you can actually dash through those. Speed you up a little bit, like right here. I mean, that's not really a hole, but you can dash through that. 
Another room was like a little window. Not before. I mean, flicker strike's probably fine. Flicker strike might be like the best skill for controller. You just let Jesus take the wheel. I guess controller. And a cultist is good. If you want, maybe you probably have to be a little bit squishy if you really want to pump out some damage from it, though. Definitely for clearing maps, it's good, though. But damage might be kind of scuffed early. drop a portal here because we're gonna run to the reliquary and do the side quest and then it'll be like a full circle in the zone take the portal back so it'll go back here tp The quest items in this map are always in uh, the three corners, so it'll be one at the top, one on the right, and one all the way down. If you're also feeling like you're too squishy at this point, you're you're free to use a shield. You'll still do more than enough damage. When I'm ready and not before. Take this run the maps. Uh, yeah, I can. I'll I can take it into like early maps and show you the early map setup. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to town, take the portal back, also get the skill point for freedom. Champ Spark is it better than Inquiz? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Unlikely. Cruelty or swift affliction? Uh, I like cruelty for mapping, but cruelty is kind of unoptimal 
and you're gonna swap it off for bossing, so if you don't wanna do that weapon swap or that gem swap, you can just drop cruelty altogether. Sub for hour? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really. I don't really care about my times. I just play the game. Easily tanked noob. I'm not. Re I'm not a speedrunner. I think speedrunning is stupid. It's super annoying to like min max super hard. I just play the game. I've I've never learned layouts. It's all just muscle memory. So I don't really ever go for specific times. Actually practicing your leveling is probably one of the most like infuriating things to do. And that's why nobody does it. Especially once you get to that point where your gains are very minimal, like a little bit of practice, if you've never practiced before, goes a really far way. But once you've got it to like six hours, the gains just start getting like so minimal that it's not really worth doing in my opinion. The flame of hope may flicker, but if it's like, is getting that extra 15 minutes down while leveling really going to make a difference in the actual league? No. Will that four hours, four to six hours make a difference? Yeah, that might actually make a difference and it's probably worth doing. But that, that 15 minutes, no, I'm good, dude. I don't need to, I don't need that. When I'm ready, and not before. Not to mention that short form racing is dead anyways, so... There's not even like a reason to do it. Every race that anybody cares about these days is like... Your leveling doesn't really matter. It's all about bossing. Eighteen sub eighteen league start. Um. It thinks for eighteen month three sub Dwick. Uh, usually I do vol area, vol side areas starting in Act Nine. Is when I'll do them. You can do them as early as you want, though. I just. They can be kind of scuffed early on, and. So. Uh, I don't really bother. Thanks for the host, Rax. Are you still playing D2? I need more mana. Be careful when you first leave that arena, that's like a really easy spot to die at. I mean, it doesn't really matter, like, your software, because it'll just respawn right there, but 
can be kind of annoying. Do I go for 100 in League? No, I don't care about 100 races. 100 racing is another form of racing that's dead. It's probably even more dead than short form racing. I'm done with D2. Hundred racing is my least favorite form of racing. It's terrible. I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be, because now you actually like map and stuff. But before it was like sit and delve and do the same note over and over and over again. Usually what I do is just like, basically the only like portion of the game I really care about is league start scenarios. So I pretty much never do anything that's super, super end game. I don't really find a point to it when there's plenty of stuff good enough to do stuff on league start that here. Like, just make life I don't really, I mean, I see the appeal of min maxing a character, but it's just not for me. When I'm ready, and not before. I think... Last few league launches have been like an hour ahead of normal, I think. I think last league was too. Right? I think it got pushed forward an hour. New Zealand time zone changed. Maybe. Can I start it over? Yeah, go subscribe to my YouTube and watch from the beginning when I upload it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put portal here. I'm gonna go do this next zone. And I'll go back for the trial. Save a little bit of time, just because it's out of the way. Usually the, the trial and the exit from that last zone are pretty much always right next to each other. If you get it like where it's a little bit messed up and they're not completely right next to each other and you have to backpack, you can use portal and go back later, but usually they're right next to each other. You can just bang them right next to each other. gonna be Harvest League 3. Lots of harvest. I think I went the wrong way. I always do that. It's like, it's like the third time you go up the stairs, it's like a debate and it's actually to the side and not over there sometimes. I don't know why they, I don't know why GGG keeps doing this. Right? Okay, so they release Harvest, right? Super OP. Next league, they remove Harvest. People are pissed. 
Next league, they put Harvest in, arguably even stronger than it was. They remove it again. People are mega pissed. This league, they put in Harvest again, stronger than it was before. People are gonna be mega pissed when they remove it for the third time. I don't understand why they do this. They shoot- GDD just shoots themselves in the foot all the time with stuff like this. I don't understand why. They really love shooting themselves in the foot. I'm not saying their job's easy. Well, I'm saying it is pretty easy to not do this with Harvest, actually. I'm gonna say it. it's pretty easy to just not do this with Harvest and shoot themselves in the foot. Wait, I just ruined my portal. Alright, well now I have to go back to prison. I mean, this, okay, that's actually not too much worse. It's basically the same distance. When I'm ready and not before. It's fine. I don't know. What's something else they shoot themselves in the foot with? They do with Harvest. They really love shooting themselves in the foot with Harvest. What else? I mean, I, mainly I just think about Harvest. Balancing, I mean, I don't know. No one's ever going to be happy with balance. They, they don't really have much there. I guess it's mainly just harvest. Anyway, nothing nothing even comes close to harvest anyways, in terms of shooting himself in the foot, so. Normally, if, if you're starting the league on hardcore, I would not do this side boss right away. I'd save it for later, but I'm gonna do it right now anyways, so. Harvest buff, they just let you block mechanics in your maps now and you can get it so you can have harvest like every three maps or so. Alright, I mean if you're still complaining about flasks at this point, you're just probably a noob and don't realize that you can basically set up a flask macro in game for basically free and have them always on. Like, that's not an issue anymore. That's just because you're a noob. And you don't realize that you can just use the new orbs and make them automatic for literally all of them. Flasks are not something to complain about at this point, unless you're complaining about how you roll them. That's a valid complaint. Rolling them is annoying, and they should do a few tweets there, but... Yeah, the smoke- okay. The smoke mine change. That's another place they shot themselves in the foot that made no sense. Ready, exile. It is this Why would they nerf smoke mine when they leave, like, shield charge movement in the game when shield charge was already a better form of movement? Uh, I mean, if you never get anything good from Harvest, you probably just don't know how to use it. Or you don't do very many Harvests. If you do, like, a few Harvests, if you're not really pounding Harvests, yeah, I can see why you'd now. think that you don't really get anything good, but... If you're, if you're really doing them, it's pretty juicy. The thing about, okay, so here's the thing about, sucks about Harvest for softcore is like, 
If you don't actually want to craft the stuff yourself, if you want to sell the stuff, you have to use that shitty Discord server. Whatever it's called, the 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 feces trove or whatever it's called. It's not shitty, I found the feces trove mod. I found the moderator for feces trove. Yeah, now I'm gonna get banned from it. What's wrong with it? I don't know, the mods like, abuse their power and shit apparently and I mean, they're probably just banning dumbasses in reality, and I don't really blame them, which is probably the reality, but... Having to open a Discord and, uh, trying to trade with people is shit. Luckily, I'll never do it, so I don't care if they ban me. They can ban me all they want. Uh, I mean, there are patch notes, but there's no balance changes. This is another good zone if you're under level to level up a bit in Southern Forest and uh, Act Six. Did I miss a sub? Hey, thanks for the prime, dude. It automatically got written on my butt cheeks, you just can't see it. You have to tier 3 sub if you want to see it. Going the debate way, but no, definitely going the debate way. It's pretty much always down in this layout when you want to. If you go up, there'll be like a locked door. You usually want to go down here. a good craft. I 
I need Is them. Delve still worth running? No. Not really. Dede and Seismic Trap are about equal. They just have two different focuses and you can use whatever one that suits you more. Yeah, I mean, I know everything I have to do and it's basically all just in my mouse and memory, so. I'm also cheating. I'm hacking it's from here so fast. I've got cheat, op cheat engine open on my second monitor. If you value your wrists, don't play traps. I mean, I think they're fine. I don't think trap builds are necessarily bad on your wrists. Yeah, this will be on YouTube uh, tonight. Whenever stream is over. So before lead start. Is RF washed and shit? No, RF's pretty good. RF's good. Here you click this button, then you run up to the top left so you don't have to wait for a little delay. If you just sit in the start of it or sit in the front of it, it'll make you like wait like three seconds. It's kind of annoying. So you don't In this zone, reading the layout is fucked. Good luck. I don't know how to do it. I just kind of guess. I hope I get lucky. I mean, sticking to the right wall isn't really reading the layout, right? That's just sticking to the right wall. If you do, the, if you stick to the right wall on every map, you'll eventually find the exit. So just go in a circle. <laughs> when I'm ready and not before. Sometimes it's down to the left though, so. So courageous. Such a fine example of womanhood. I simply knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Or my husband. You see, his majesty could never be satiated on his wedding day by one bride alone. Thank you, my new sister. I shall always train. I need more mana. How many rips from Yellow Boulder Boys here with Arch Nemesis mods? Uh, that zone actually should be better with Arch Nemesis mods. The reason why that zone is really bad is because of the auras from current rare mobs. When it won't be like entire packs getting aura stacking from them, it shouldn't be as bad. If you're scared of this guy, cheap strat is during this phase when he's lightning and you can portal out and portal back in, you have a minute of in invincibility and you just stand there and not move. Too much clutter. Don't do this. I hate when it does this. Ruins my speed run. It'll just leave me in game for like literally two minutes. Watch, it's not gonna let me log back in now. Huh? 
Oh, you can't see it because OBS isn't picking it up, but I'm just stuck at the login screen right now. There we go. Now I'm back in. I'm actually cheating. I just turned on some more hacks. Well, I'm in now, but it's just not showing up. There we go. Definitely didn't just cheat. Definitely didn't just cheat. Ready, this uh, in this map, there's a um, house thingy. You can uh, go into the house, and there will be a like a uh, quest item in there you can pick up, and you can get another utility flask. You can grab like a, a jade flask if you want, or whatever you need. Uh, here it is. JK, that is not it. Well, it looks like that. I'm not gonna do it. But, you know. It's there, somewhere. Just in time. I kinda like to leave it, like... It's nice to have a fallback, cause like, what if you choose a Jade Flask, and then you drop a Jade Flask? And then you don't need a Jade Flask anymore, but you need the Quartz Flask? And then you can't get the Quartz Flask, so I kinda like to leave it. Until, uh, the end. Until you get to maps. I guess grabbing it still would be a better idea. Just grabbing it and leaving it in my inventory, but... Yeah, you typically don't take or do any league mechanics while leveling if you want to be fast and efficient. It's not generally worth it. Not being said, if it's a new league star and you want to go, if you want it to be smoother but not necessarily faster, uh, usually the league mechanic has a good way to farm like a tabula or something, some good uniques early, which was good to do. I don't know if this league will, but. How's build generate frenzy charges? Uh, it doesn't. Not without investment anyways. If you really wanted to generate frenzy charges, you could uh, do it by getting, I don't know, I think it's a Veritania chest piece. And uh, you get the frenzy mod. And that's how you'd get them. Yes, yeah, so you should skip the league mechanic until maps. I mean, if that's good, like if you're gonna have less fun, if you're not doing the league mechanic by le when leveling, by all means, do league mechanic. But if you really care about efficiency and going fast, just ignore it. It's pretty much never worth it. To Use it while leveling. I'm ready and not before. Unless you think it's fun, then it's worth it. How do people recover life on poison builds? Um, I mean, I don't think they typically have a ton of life recovery, but I mean, but, I mean that's very vague. There is a poison mastery that makes you recover life on kill against poison enemies, but it's like too big to answer for all builds. In this zone, gonna be looking for the center in here. Best items for using brands for leveling, uh, rare items and the wand craft, which I explained at the start of the run, slash will be in the video, slash is in my pubes. Wand recipe does affect brands. Hello to you, great dreamer. It does. Uh, 
Uh, in this map, to read the layout, you just like go around the edges until you find the little bridge things, and you run across the bridge. Pretty easy to read. And then you just keep going up. Uh, see? Here you can portal right here if you think you might die, since this is technically a map, you'll just respawn right outside the portal, and then um, you know, you'll go back in. No, you won't respawn next to the door since it's a map. It'll put you back outside. Flame wall wouldn't do anything for this right now. You use flame ball. Flame wall when you use spark though. But right now, flame wall would do nothing. When I'm ready and not before. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure if it affects cremation, but it's gonna be shit. Is this? I don't know. You have about 15 seconds to type exclamation point song before the song changes. Eight seconds. Three seconds. Well, that's the wrong song, but it's the same artist. Yeah, the agreement's over. Some people didn't want to do it. Back to DD. I mean, it works for me. Works out for me. Especially if, if Light and Exile are actually going Bone Shatter, dude. My chance to win skyrockets. I don't know enough about Corrupting Fever to say whether it's good or not, all I know is that it's damage usually sucks. Is Exsanguinate Sign any good? Uh, it's tanky, but you're gonna do no damage, so if you're okay with that, then yeah, it's good. I need more mana. When I say no damage, I mean, like, you're really gonna do no damage. When I'm ready, and not before. This wand is gonna be insane. That's insanely bad. D 
DD is the way if you're playing hardcore and aren't comfortable in your abilities. Wrath call. Slash, you just don't like dying. EA boost is probably the best softcore build. Wrong. You know why? Because you have to play a totem build. That means you lose. Yeah, I'm going SFHC. I kind of wanted to do like, I wanted to do like softcore trade juicer stuff this league, but I'm not going to miss a boss race or something like that. What is Demon Hunter strafing? Is that the Cyclone one? Hey Rax, you still here? Help him out. Yeah, I mean, you probably go Cyclone. Cock Cyclone, I guess. What do you mean? Cyclone's not bad. Cyclone's okay. Day I'll be able to cycling channel another channeling skill. I mean, you can kind of do that, but not channeling skill, I guess. this layout you're gonna run up like I just did if it's this layout it'll be a little opening right here and that's the only way you can get in here this is like the worst layout other layouts you would run like all the way up into the left and it'll be over there it's kind of it's One, pretty hard to yes, pick up well. that layout what? The end of learning. Here we go, 25 movement speed. Zero. Just getting all. Now so if you're thinking about dying, trust all Yeah, I mean oh, and sand shield. I'm gonna swap this for the shield, like now you can see the damage and if you wanna be a little bit safer. Well, quite a bit, a lot of bit safer actually. <laughs> you can see the damage uh, without going dual wield wands. Which I will personally be doing on League Start since hardcore, but. Uh, if, you, if you look in the POB of my DD build, uh, there's a, there's like a 
juicer softcore version, kind of. Look at the look into the unearth version. That's what you do. I don't know if that link actually has the right link. Just go to my YouTube and find my DD video. <laughs> I don't know if that document has the right PUB link. Levels? Oh shoot. Uh, where do I want to go now? I guess I can grab these. And then throw determination on. Be a little bit more tanky. When I'm ready and not before. Hey, thanks for the tier one sub, Brock and Ball Torture. Good nickname. Oh, well, you can see here, even without dual wielding, I still do plenty of damage. I need to get rid of this flask. Yeah, because of Chi Dungeon. Uh, that spider does drop loot, but it's kind of delayed, so I typically don't wait for it. Now after the spider, it's time to do your second lab. You can do it before the spider too, if you want to. I just tend to do it after. On League Start, uh, you don't log out, you do all. At this point, by the time two and a half hours in, the queue is probably pretty small, but if you just go to character select and you don't fully log out, you won't get put into a queue. Do you not have to talk to Sin to unlock the Pantheons? Uh, no. Speaking of Pantheons, I forgot to put them on. I'm ready and not before. You made it. Oh, the weary traveler draws close to the end of the sun. This chest piece makes it look like there's like a bunch of arrows in my head. Or neck rather, I guess. 
So if you want to be super safe here, what you can do is kill the uh, kill the dog, but because I buff his arrow, but I'm not gonna bother. I kind of just need to give him, anyways. Gargoyles, dogs, whatever. They look the same. Holy shit, dude. Was that an arch nemesis rare? Snuck into the game early? to get better life blasts. When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes with an emperor that is only as efficient to entertain dance. And not before. Nobody knows how rippy Arch Nemesis mobs will be. Because they've rebalanced them. And now you don't really choose the mods yourself, so it's hard to say. Elemental overload, uh, you crit, and then you deal 40% more damage for like 6 seconds, but your crits don't deal extra damage. I die for the Empire. Too much clutter. Belly of the- what the hell is that? That's not Belly of the Beast. Fifteen percent mana regen. Uh, so here you- you could go Mistress of Sacrifice if you want to be tankier, or you can go Corpse Hack for, uh... For, uh, more damage. Here I can go grab different, different uh, the black different auras. Good tidings to you. So when you get whatever it's called, corpse pack or plague bringer, whatever one it is, viper scales. That's kind of OP for helix leveling. To be I'm not helix. Okay, so I can drop skitter bots now since uh, this ascendancy node basically does the same thing. 
I'm gonna grab grace and determination. Just to be tanky and not die. Try and get a red here, easily defeated. There we go. Time and tide wait for no man. Normal boss, you want to do normal DD crit and then Vol DD? No. The crits are separate on DD and Vol DD because that's the way GGG rolls. Alright, uh, I guess I'm only running. Uh, I guess I'm only running Termination for now. Just one more level. There we go. Rotter leveling cool. skill, Helix. Earth Shatter. Starting in softcore trade, I mean, I don't know. Give me an arc, give me a build archetype, and I can recommend something to you. Otherwise, I'm just going to play to play seismic trap. You kind of get, you get a bit more freedom in softcore trade. Golems is fine. Sixty nine. Why didn't they have fire damage? Out of mana. Thanks. So if you're having trouble with her, there's a this little circle wheel thing, lever thing, whatever you call it. If you pull it, it'll make her go into the tube and take like a little diarrhea bath, and it'll remove all the poop on the ground she threw there and any debuffs. Play DD if you never want to die. Play Fizz Trap if you want to do a billion damage. I need more mana. Can you flame dash this? Oh shoot, dude. When I'm ready, and not before. And I need a little bit more mana. I'm gonna like get rid of Grace and put on Tempest Shield, I think. Give it uh, if you need resistance, these are some good notes to grab some extra res too while you're leveling.
What if you never want to die and do a billion damage? Um, champion EA totems. But then you have to play totems, lol. Alright, so for this zone, if you all know where to go, it's, uh, you go into the buildings that have a dead guy in front of the door. Well, that one didn't have a dead guy, that one had a, a little arm, but after the first one, there will be dead guys in front of the doors, and those are the ones you go through. Now is his layout, dude. When I'm ready, I'm not before. I don't like that one. Boots, twenty five movement speed. Or zero. I guess at this point, I can start going over to the other side of the tree for the corpse nodes for DD. Yeah, Imperial Fields is pretty much just run north, run up. this waypoint in Solaris you're gonna you know, take the rim upwards from it. Clatter. Never moving speed. No, your veiled mods do not transfer over to League. You gotta re-unveil them. that bad anymore. 
Yeah, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. Every point and everybody point and laugh at the YouTube viewers. When I'm ready and not before. Where's my fire run? This guy's owning me. Too much. I said point and laugh, not say hi. Strap for unveils? There's not really any strategy. I mean, there kind of is, but... Depends what you're, like, I mean... Depends what you're trying to do. Watch yourself. Make sure you are picking up all chance orbs you find, too, since you can buy maps with them early on. Don't do anything on be well. What a gorgeous Selden Ring player, cute girl playing Po. You look so cute, so cute today, so cute. So cute to die, cute, 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 so cute to uh, so cute today, so decent to Twitch so sub roll, you just so have to have your so Twitch cute in your Discord so cute account. Practicing, so cute, practicing, so cute, eating, so cute, grafting today, so cute today, the 13th of February 2020, so cute today. Lily, you are so beautiful today at these I apologize to the YouTube viewers now, for the having to listen to that. About you, Twitch viewers, fuck you. Oh, I meant to go get Tempest Shield. Apologize this. That's true. When I'm ready and not before. Thanks for the 10 month rat jam boiled egg. Why are you suddenly talking in Spanish? Boiled eggs are good. I need to think of some good, easy foods to eat for the race.
I like to get a bag of like full of boiled eggs, like a big Ziploc bag, and I like to leave it in the fridge for like a week, and I like to take big whiffs of it. While blindfolded. Lily hasn't felt quite like herself ever since she got arrested for pissing in the sink at a truck stop. That's true. Things were a bit stopping. True and real. Alright, so this time in the Lunaris level 2, you're gonna wanna go to the direction that has no carts. So there's a there's a little square right there. Yeah, go the other way. As opposed to uh going in the direction with one cart in Act 3 and Act 8, you go one with none. Six cats? Do you live on a fucking farm, dude? Let me grab Tempest, Tempest feet Shield. Do I really not have a blue for it? Are you kidding me? Huh? Bruh? What? Bruh? Did someone say? Bag. Mm. <laughs> Mag. Bag. <laughs> egg. 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 Yeah, that's true. Hey, thanks for the bits, Mom. We're gonna go back to this place, the bathhouse, later. The boss is rippy and... Yeah. Hey, thanks for- wait, did I already say thanks? No double thanks. I need more mana. When I'm ready, and not before. Yeah, cats really like earwax. For some reason. Not even close, dude. That was calculated. Movement speed boots. Never movement speed boots. Things with the Twitch Prime Concept Zero. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm running through Blood Aqueducts, so I always try and stay on the top side because it uh, has more blue monsters. Yeah, 
Yeah, really? It, uh, it has those little inlets and it's full of blue packs. What did you do to your cat? And why to chomp your heel? That would just make life complicated. I'm gonna hope this doesn't. Oh, good, it didn't. Second lab, you can either take Mistress of Sacrifice to be tankier and you can start using Bone Offering, or you can take uh, whatever the other thing is. Plague Corpse Pack? Corpse Pack. We will be best I'd recommend Corpse Pack because then you can stick in Determination and stuff and get rid of Skitter Bots and it's really annoying to have to cast an offering skill while you're leveling. So. When I'm ready and not before. Makes this build so tanky. A uh, ton of armor, ton of evasion, ton of block chance. Uh, recovery on hit with Ghost Shrouds. Uh, when you get Glorious Vanity. Huge HP pool. Basically, if you can think of a defensive layer, the build probably has it. Outside of, like, Bleach. Slash Fortify, obviously. The better question is, what layers do you not have? I do have the shitty level up MPX thing that was in the supporter pack, but uh, I like to see when I'm playing the game. L dodge that basically doesn't exist anymore. Man, where this stupid sandstorm? I hate this. It's my least favorite thing ever. Finding the sandstorm. And it was an easy one too. I just went the other way. I need more mana. It does it just takes away yeah, that's why I said it basically doesn't exist, because nobody takes it. I didn't say it doesn't exist, I said it basically doesn't exist. Are you take spell dodge or stupid? So it might as well not exist. Stupid, but not stupid enough to take spell dodge. When I'm ready and not before. Next place to go is always just fall the right side of the wall, and the waypoint will be there, and then. The poopy lake will be here too.
talk the sin and oh. pita bread and that Vanya vagina. Um, yep. See ya. That way you can, uh, whenever you go back to do Shikari, you can, uh, go right in and you don't have to teleport back. So where'd the gopher cloth correct gems at level 1? Rather than using wands. What the hell? Why would you use a claw? <laughs> oh, you mean... Okay, wait, I see what you're saying. You're saying if you can find a claw with the correct gems, but not a wand. I don't know, I see what you're saying now. I thought you meant... I thought you meant instead. Um, yeah, okay. Um, you know... It might be worth it, honestly. But I'm I'm leaning towards no here. For simplicity's sake, I'll say no, but it could technically maybe be better for a very short period of time, but the time you spend like Swapping over to wands? Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I need more mana. You press the detonate button. Sixteen people just exploded. When I'm ready and not before. Skipping lab trial? I I did the lab trial. Oh, that button. Hey, thanks for the, uh, one trillion gift subs, Anonymous. I wonder who that could be. You just sacrificed the soul of a hundred people. At this rate, none of chat's gonna be a sub. I mean, none of chat's gonna be a non-sub. I'm gonna go back and do Scorpion Lady before this instance resets. Wait, why? Really? Why? I already talked to you. Wait, wait what? That's, wait, why? What? What? Why didn't... Okay. I already grabbed that, but whatever. Hey, thanks for the Twitch Prime San Sandwich and Emmy. Best, better boss killer out of DD and EA. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I'm in kind of two different play styles, so they're pretty similar. It's gonna come down to which you're more comfortable with. How did I miss the thing, dude? 
It's actually up here. Worth the farm is there for trigger? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, if you want to, you can. I don't like doing that outside of Gauntlet though, and I barely even like doing it in Gauntlet. I don't think it's necessary outside of Gauntlet, but if you want to do it, you can do it. They already said they're not nerfing DD and. I don't know the exact number it would nerf it, like 60% damage or something. Okay, maybe not that hard, I don't know. Maybe kind of that hard. I don't know, it goes from 516 down to 360, what percent is that? What percent of 516 is 360? Oh, about time I upgrade my life class. I mean that's like 40? Is that like 40%? You mean you have increased life and affect the lives of your corpse? No. I don't know why I didn't just grab the skill point, but whatever. Alright, so what I'm not gonna do here is forget to grab the feather, like I always do. I'm gonna grab the feather. I'm gonna grab the feather. I'm gonna grab the feather. I'm not gonna leave the feather on the floor. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. I am going to grab the feather. Me grab feather, me grab feather. <laughs> I, just, I just can't, dude. It's not on purpose. I'm serious. That's not scripted. I just can't. My love. I just can't do it. You might oh, not you killed. Why doesn't it drop on her body? It's so stupid. It's the game's fault, not me. It's the game's fault, not mine. I don't know. Why doesn't it just drop there? Shit game. Shit game.
essence. No one else is shit, this layer. I hate this map. This map sucks. Sap on block shields legacy now? Uh when I'm ready, I have no I'm idea. Ready. I don't even know what that was where'd that even come from before? What gave you that? Wait, isn't it wait? Yeah, what the heck? What even gave you that? Um, yeah, isn't it highest? If it's highest, you can still get it. I thought it was highest. I wasn't sure if it's highest or an influence mod. I mean, either way, it's not legacy. So. I just wasn't sure which. This is plenty. Something doesn't. I need to grab it. Eternal Mana Flask if I see one. Gotta make sure I do that. On oh, SF Software, size and crap better than DG, yes. Unless you don't like dying. really don't like dying, then DD is still the better choice. It's not hard to get defense for Trapper, it's just that this build has so much more defense than the other build. It has so much more damage. It's basically like you just choose, would you rather giga damage or giga defense? And then you have regular of whatever the opposite is on whatever build. Forbidden right speedrun? Doesn't that shit take your HP? That probably would be terrible. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but... Just tank it. Who likes dying? I don't know. Plenty of people who play software. Here in this boss arena, save your granite for when the little scorpion dudes come out. They're the real threat in this fight. Pop your cremations in the middle, and then just kite them with your quicksilver and granite, just in case you do get hit. They do so much damage for some reason. If you run out of granite fast charges, you can uh, portal out and portal in, and then get it again.
There you don't have to weigh it, but if you want the loot, you can weigh it. Otherwise, you can either log out or, uh, portal. People really think software players like dying, or is it a meme? I mean, when you choose a build with 2k life, you probably don't hate dying, right? I would wager. I need more mana. I mean, you either don't mind dying or you're not very smart. It's one or the other. When I'm ready and not before. Well, if you don't know the game enough yet, that would fall under not being smart, right? Obviously, I mean smart in terms of, like, game mechanics, because, you know, actual intelligence doesn't really apply to most video games. You there, local, come here. You lose. Yeah, you can get a refund, you just gotta sit here for a few more hours, and then eventually you'll get them back. Easily refunded. Oh shit, now's my time to shine. Really, dude? How did I lose? The last lab trial's in here and you get some more respect points. Which, uh, we will need. Really again? Thanks for the tier one sub hologram. I, I re I'm really hoping the new arch nemesis mobs make it so uh so um C B is less common. <laughs> at least while leveling, at least while leveling. I don't think you should be able to get C B while leveling. God damn it! I mean, it's not really the place for noobs, I'm just baiting viewers, so... Did I get the thing? Yeah, I got the thing. Always keep your eyes on the horizon. If... T44, can I imagine getting below two hours? I mean... You could probably get it to two hours, you just gotta remember, learn some more layouts. It's like below two hours is when it gets really difficult. When I'm ready and not before. Below two hours is the real grind. Screw that.
Yeah, there's like a there's a pretty big curve to how it works, right? Um Like going from like twelve to six is way easier from going to six to four. And then going talking about like completing all ten acts. And then going from like four to three is like huge. Like when you, the more you learn, the harder it gets to learn more stuff. Or, yeah, learning slash actually executing it. Yeah, that's, library is, if you can skip it, you should probably skip it. Not getting hit is also like a legitimate thing for going fast. So if you go fast, you don't really get too many defenses, so you gotta really not get hit. That's only that only comes down when you're doing like really uh some really crazy stuff though. Go back and go to bathhouse. Good loot filter. Um. Well, you you really only have like two options. When I'm ready. You have never sink and stupid fat hobbit. Alright, so we're gonna kill this guy because we actually want his uh, respec point. Mouse overlay. I mean, they added colored cursors in the game. It's part of the game. Alright, where is this lab trial? Yeah, it's uh, if you go into, I think it's in UI. You can, uh, there it is. It's about halfway down UI. All right, I need, I need lab trials. Not the door. Yeah, there's like, there's like pink, green, and those are the two, two main colors, I think. I think they only have pink, pink and green for bright colors. You can also change the size if you want it huge like some people do. I have no idea what this says. Uh, I'm kind of curious. By the flames of the Last duration, I knew it was not worth it. You can also buy cursors, but I think they're just worse than the free ones, so... Where is it? Is it not in there anymore? I have to do it here. Where do you do that? I don't know where you... I have to do it here. Whatever. Just in time. Just in bat chesting. Oh, I 
kind of want that, actually. I don't think I need it, but... No noobs welcome. Every noob leave. If you don't have 10,000 hours, leave. You're a noob. I don't even have 10,000 hours though, so see you guys later. Long enough. Feels like I have 10,000 hours, but I think I only have like eight. Oops. Uh, eight. Okay, talk to this guy. I don't know what I just left there. I think it was a respect point. Yeah, I, I think I, uh... Now for freedom. I think I'm at eight. Is that time of EO fine without crit? Um, I mean, it depends what skill you're using. Cremation is fine. Uh, if you're talking about DD, though. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but it's nice to get a little bit of crit. Something you... A good unique really early on to use is Ungles. Ungles is really good and it'll give you like 100% EO up time. Otherwise, uh, the lab boot enchant will be good enough or you can get it a little bit somewhere else. I don't know, I'm like level 69 probably. Alright, probably like actually 63. Close enough though. Basically the same. Did you see it? What? Wrong way. Man, I hate these ones. I hope that wasn't where I was supposed to go right there. Your favorite rare mob is Hate Stink and not Stink Stink? Yeah, I haven't seen Stink Stink in a few leagues. I think it was like two two or three leagues ago since I've seen him. I think that did connect actually right there. The the weary traveler draws an enemy and only as efficient as those he commands. Yeah, Stink Stink's the goat. Do I feel ready? Yeah, I'm ready, dude. Then I'm ready and not before. I'm ready to sit and harvest for four days and then die to Uber bosses. Right on top of it. Mm. 
Great, I love getting a golden key. Was pretty good actually that wasn't bad there must be a golden door where is the golden door wait oh is it the same wait is it the same oh it's still in there oops all Yeah, I sparked to a level twenty-eight. Let the day dawn, golden possibility. So I always take the left door at uh, the golden doors. An emperor strikes without hesitation. I recommend you do the same. Alright, if this was League Start and you're in Hardcore, I'd probably take the time to kill the curse bonds because they're scary. But, uh, I'm not going to. Here. If you think you'll die, kill the curse bonds. If you don't, then don't. No, no, no! This game sucks! Pretend I did, pretend I did lab, okay? That would just make life complicated. Well, pretend I did lab, uh, it's finished. Alright, I gotta go back and do, uh, oh, I did it, okay, cool. This is a cursed run, dude. This is, like, actually a cursed run. You know how many times I've seen CB? I've seen yeah, CB more in this run than I've seen on like any practice run ever. Combined. That was corrupted blood. If that wasn't a, a hint, you should probably have a corrupted blood drill by the time you're doing your third lab. Moving doesn't increase the damage taken by CB. CB is just like a regular debuff. It's not really a bleed at all. It's like a bleed in name only. Let's get Death's Door from Lab. Aren't those Uber Lab only though? New League's been live for eight hours. You missed it. Log in, dude. You're late. You're late. You're late. You're late. You missed the bus. You're late. Enduring cry that would have saved me.
Also for anyone playing hardcore, I'd wait till like level 80 to do Valenta. Remember, as he could one shot you quite easily. Or as at this point, I've held Vash, Tempest Shield, and Determination. Wait, what? Oh. Dark storm. Bannon. Remember, we do this for freedom. Morgan cheese. When I'm ready and not before. Mars launch be a train wreck or will they actually play the game? I don't know, the last few weeks starts have been pretty good, so probably be pretty good. I mean, I doubt there'll be more peak players than last league, so and last league was fine. Pretty unlikely it'll be really bad or anything. I hope I'm right too. It's gonna be so scuffed because if there's league start issues, I'm gonna. Have, if you want to do the race, you're gonna have to like restart. Because if there's if there's like major league start issues, they restart the race, and I don't really feel like restarting. So, uh, hopefully, uh, no issues. One person of fire damage leeches life does apply to DD, but it's not very good when you're going ignite. That's more if you're going hit base. I really like the look of Crypt Armor. Kind of tempted to like. I shall um, strike you down. Skin transfer it. using DD yet, so it hasn't really felt like anything. Good to see you. Fair yeah. wind. Yes. I always confuse the NPCs in this act and uh One other act. Act four. Well, I guess that's Aura too. Wait, no, it's not. Just buy a lot of DDs and Volume, or is it better to trade them? I mean, if you're softcore or, or trade league, you just buy it. Otherwise, you would vol them yourself, slash do vol side zones. Yeah, if you, if you can just buy it off trade, then just buy it. Just make sure it's level one.
accurately calculate DPS for Valdene dead, you're not going to. Nobody knows. There is some corpse life number that's accurate, but I've nobody knows what it is. May a new dawn arise. Put like 150k in there, that's what I've put in. In config. 